Hey there, gamer guys and gals. Today we're talking about a game that was published by Razer Games and developed by Protocol Games. It'll run you $39.99 and it was released May 28, 2021. And that game is Song of Horror. I don't know what it is with the reviews for this game, but after I played the game I watched some reviews to get some ideas and people were showing the entire game in their reviews. I, actually, I literally watched a review that was 17 minutes and if I wouldn't have played the game beforehand I would have had no interest in playing it because I wouldn't saw anything. People will tune in to see a review uh, not to find out everything there is to know about the game. If they wanted to do that they would watch a stream. So this review is going to be totally different. You're not going to see anything here uh, this is only going to be the first episode, and there's five episodes, and I'm not going to show you any of the deaths, any uh, spoilers as far as, like, scares, so uh, you can watch this video with faith that the only thing you're going to see here is my opinion, how good the atmosphere is, you can hear here how good the voice acting is, I'm not going to spoil anything for you, you can... Uh, watch this video with faith knowing that uh, you can play this game after this and uh, feel what it felt like for me to play it for the first time. It really took me back to my days of uh, Alone in the Dark. When I was a young adult, I loved uh, Alone in the Dark. It was one of my favorite games. Um, this right here really feels like that. It has the same atmosphere. You know, the camera follows you just like it did in Alone in the Dark. It also has a sort of a uh, Resident Evil 7 feel and look to it. But uh, it's definitely its own thing. Uh, there's uh, things that are really unique and different about this game. One of those things is uh, difficulty levels and permadeath. You can die in this game and you can lose every character there's five episodes each one has three to four different characters and uh, when you lose one they're gone and uh, you have to play that episode over so it's going to make you approach it uh, in a different way and actually think about what you're doing you have uh, little mini games like that right there and uh, to keep you from dying as you see here here's your different characters they have different skills different abilities, different personalities, you know, you're going to have your favorites, you're going to have your ones that you uh, like to use and the ones that you might not, but uh, you might want to explore a little more with the ones that you don't really care for because you don't want to, because you don't want to lose the ones that you do enjoy playing with, and so it kind of makes you think how you approach the game. Um, if you do die, it, you don't have to do everything over. Your items will drop, so you can pick those back up. And uh, you just have a new character that has items that they really don't know what they're for. They just, you know, they just discovered them on the ground. But as you can see here, the, it, the game just has a really eerie vibe and eerie look to it. It's dark, it's creepy. It's going to keep you on the edge of your seat. There's little jump scares and there's little moments where uh, you might miss a ghost uh, creeping up around behind you or around somewhere in, in, in the house. You know, that you, some person might see and another other person might miss. So uh, it definitely uh, feels different each time you play it. Um... I really just don't want to spoil any of that for you because uh, there's just a feeling you get when uh, one of those things happen and I you know I watched videos earlier and this guy sh was showing everything and I was like what's the point to even play the game you know so I want you to go into this game not knowing what to expect uh, you see here they all have their different type of light 
and uh, sometimes you'll have to put a light on an object for it to uh, actually show up for you to pick it up so that's another thing that's unique you're going to be moving your light around trying to find uh, important items to use and uh, so you're not going to want to miss those um, I, I, I there's five different places I'm only showing the house but there's like a library uh, there's like a mortuary and every one of these areas are just as creepy as the first one if not more uh, the ghost and the uh, scares are just as scary and just as uh, keep you on the edge of your seat uh, I just really think if you love horror games I'm a huge fan of horror games and this is one of those ones that uh, is unique and uh, one that you're not going to forget uh, I'm not even going to tell you how to do these little games it'll tell you in game so you can figure it out for yourself to me it's fun to uh, not know what to expect and to die and have to do things over you know some people might find it frustrating to me I like when uh, when things are a challenge and when things uh, are unexpected so I really want you to uh, feel how it feels to play this for the first time and uh, I really want to say this is one of the best best indie horror games that uh, you're ever going to play right there see that's how you find items when someone dies you'll just pick them up and then you'll continue on to the mission but you have to be real careful not to lose everybody or you'll have to start over from the very uh, start each each episode is going to take you two to three hours it's going to be about 20 hours altogether but you're going to have a blast if you love horror games you're going to love this one uh, it's without question my favorite horror game I've played uh, in the last four or five years uh, it's, it's just I don't know it's just something really special about this one it's one that's going to uh, grab you from the beginning that's gonna keep you interested all the way to the end it might frustrate you frustrate you a little bit but you're gonna enjoy that as well I think but uh, I gave it a 8.2 out of 10 I think it's worth your time I think it's worth your money and I think it's one of the best uh, indie horror games ever to be honest uh, so don't miss out on this one definitely grab this one and let me know what you think about it in the comments